Hey guys, it's Tim, and welcome to another tutorial video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to mod the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. And this can be done in multiple ways, but I find this way to be the easiest. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Elder Scrolls.NexusMods.com or test.nexusmods.com, and I'll have that link in the description. And the first thing I would recommend doing is making an account. It's easy, um, it's quick. They don't spam you with random emails that you don't care about. Um, it just makes everything more convenient. So if you've done that, um, the next thing you want to do is look for a specific mod that you like. And that's really easy. You just go to Categories or New Today, Top 100, uh, search for a specific mod, etc. So um, once you've found a mod you like, you want to download the Oblivion Mod Manager. And I will have this link in the description for convenience so you guys don't have to go and search. And it can be kind of scary at first when you see all this stuff. And it's really simple. Um, all you need to do is click on Download, the big green button. And it'll show all of these. And the ones down here are the earlier patches, and this is the newest one. So you definitely want to download the newest one. So just click Download Manually. And um, this little thing will pop up, and it's just telling you that um, the file is being downloaded. So just be patient. And there it goes. So you can just close that out. And um, while that's downloading, I'll just show you guys um, the way I like to browse for mods. So I just click on categories. And then um, they have all these different categories player homes, animals, creatures, animations, armor, um, clothing, collectibles, dungeons guilds, all kinds of different things. Um, I already found a mod that I'm going to use for demonstrational purposes, but I'm probably going to use it. Um, it's the... Okay, it's done downloading, so I'll just show you. Um, once that's done downloading, you just want to drag that to your desktop. And once again, that's the Oblivion Mod Manager. And you just want to double-click that and open it up. And you, you're going to want to have 7-zip for this, or uh, WinRAR, and I prefer to use WinRAR, so. Um, double click that file inside, and you're going to want to allow it. And then this will bring you through the downloading process. So, um, just go through what it tells you. I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be doing this again. So, it's really easy. And then, um, you can just delete that file right there. So, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. It's um, It'll only have oblivion.esm base. None of these other things will be in here. So um, I'm just going to delete that. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. So um, what you're going to want to do is download your mod and put it on your desktop. And there's two ways to install the mod. I'm going to show you both ways. So once you have your mod downloaded, preferably to your desktop, um, you're gonna go ahead and click create and then this little window will pop up and you can either click add folder or add archive so if you click add archive um, it of course has to be an archive so you'll go through your desktop and look for it or you can do add folder and this will be um, only showing your folders on this specific area so I'm gonna go ahead and just click that colored maps Cyrodiil, click OK and then um, doesn't seem like it worked, I might have done something wrong but um, that's just for demonstrational purposes anyway so um, it's really easy, you just add folder once again um, add the folder or you can add the archive and then um, it'll come down here if you did it right I guess I didn't um, I downloaded a bad copy or something because it should have worked that's all you need to do by the way so um, you just name it um, I'm just gonna say colored map mod and then um, you just click create o mod and then it'll say you haven't entered an author's name you can just click yes you haven't entered a description just click yes none of that matters and then um, the compression process will begin and this usually 
happens fairly quickly unless you downloaded a huge mod. So um, that's just putting it into mod form so it can be compatible with Oblivion. Um, that's basically all there is to it. Um, just going to let that finish up so I can show you guys the rest. Alright, it's basically done. Alright, so it'll say OMOD created sec uh, <laughs> successfully, my bad. And then what you want to do is look for your mod. It'll be easy for you because you don't have all these mods. And then you'll find it. And all you do is double click that. It'll decompress. Um, you won't get an error because like I said, um, it was a bad copy of the mod, I guess. But um, that'll decompress and then it'll go over here and then it'll be ready to go. Usually when you get new mods you want to um, sometimes it'll have issues with your oblivion so what you want to do is go to utilities and then go to archive and validation and then um, you want to click uh, you want to tick this little circle over here BSA um, alteration and then you want to tick all of these here these little areas and then you simply click update now and then it'll update and you'll be good to go with that mod so um, that's all there is to modding it's fairly easy um, if you guys have any issues feel free to private message me or leave a comment um, yeah so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time